check this out. You can press J to go down. You can press K to go up. You can press D to go down half a page. You can press U to go up half a page. I remap this tab switching feature, but you can do Command J to go to the left tab. Command K to go to the right tab. You can press F and it'll allow you to select any of these links. So if I press F and then I press G, it'll click this specific link. So let's do that. If I want to go back, I can press Shift H. If I want to go forward, I can press Shift L. Hello everyone. My name is Suboptimal and I make videos about web technologies and developer productivity. In this video, I'll help you elevate your internet exploring skills by getting you started with using Vim commands in Chrome via the Vimium Chrome extension. Now this video is going to be split up into four parts. First, we're going to go over what you need to do before considering Vimium. Next, we'll go over the pros and cons of using Vimium. Third, we're going to look at some of the most common Vimium commands. And finally, I'm going to help you guys set up the Vimium extension in Chrome. As always, I'm going to ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. It does take me a bit of time and effort to plan and edit these videos. So one small like goes a long way in supporting me and the channel. Awesome. Let's get started. Now, before you even consider downloading Vimium or consider using the Vimium extension, you need to ask yourself this one question. How comfortable are you with using Vim commands? Vimium is just Vim on Chrome. So if you don't already understand how to use Vim, then you're going to be in a bit of a snag. Now, if you actually want to get started with Vim because you don't have any experience with it, the best way to do that is to set up Vim inside of Visual Studio Code. I have a quick video explaining how to do that, which will be linked down in the description box below. So if you don't have any experience with Vim, then I would suggest holding off on this video because realistically, you need to understand how Vim works to understand the full power of Vimium. So now let's go over some of the pros and cons of using Vimium. Real quickly, there's three simple pros. Obviously, you can have faster navigation in Chrome. And it's obviously going to help with ergonomics if you don't have to move your hands away from the home row to, say, move up or down. You can just press J or K. And finally, I think Vimium is best used in conjunction with other Chrome commands. There's a simple command to open a new tab in Vimium where you just press T. I still like pressing Command T, even though that's the Chrome command that is suboptimal. It just feels more natural to me. So in some situations, it's okay to not use the exact Vimium command. You can use something that is suboptimal, but it's a Chrome command just because it's more natural. There's two real cons that I felt existed inside of Vimium. The first is that it's not all encompassing like Vim and VS Code. You still have to use your mouse in certain occasions. It's not easy to just get away from using your mouse all the time. You're still going to have to use your mouse. So that's one of the bigger cons of Vimium is that yes, you can do everything without your mouse, but just using your mouse for doing certain things is a lot easier. And secondly, it doesn't work in all sorts of browsers. So Vimium doesn't work in websites like Google Drive, Gmail, Notion. I'm just going to showcase some of the most useful commands for Vimium. So the most helpful one is going to be the question mark. So if you press question mark, you'll get a list of Vimium commands. Going one tab left, going one tab right. You can do that with Shift J or Shift K. You can go back in history with H and you can go forward in history with the L command, capital L. In some cases, it's suboptimal to have Vim mode. So it's really nice to just be able to exit it. And when you exit Vim mode, you just have to press I. If you press I, it'll say right here that you're in insert mode. And basically all of these commands will be turned off until you press escape. Once you press escape, the commands are turned back on. And these are just some of the other basic commands like scrolling down with J, scrolling up with K, scrolling to the top of the page with GG, scrolling to the bottom of the page with capital G, so these are just some of the common commands that you should probably be familiar with. 
final thing left to do is going to be downloading Vimium. Now you can easily get Vimium by just going to the Chrome Web Store and searching Vimium. And they even have a helpful video over here to help you get started with Vimium. I already have Vimium, so if you don't have it, then you can download it here. The next thing that I want to show you guys is how to add a command to move to the left tab or to the right tab with command J and command K. So you're going to first press um, question mark. And once you press question mark, uh, you'll go to the options section and here you can add custom key maps. Here I added uh, my own maps. So basically if I press command J, it's gonna go to the previous tab. Command K goes to the next tab. And that's sort of how I set up Vim for myself. So as you can see, Command J goes to the left, Command K goes to the right. And these are the only real uh, things that you need to set up for Vimium. The other things are pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, all you gotta do is press the question mark. And if you ever want to get out of Vim mode and just not use it, just press I and it'll stay right here that you're in insert mode. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about using Vim commands in Chrome. To me, Vimium is just a natural extension to Vim, so it's kind of like a must-have, but I can certainly understand if you think it's a little too much. And yeah, if you guys like this type of content and want to see more, then you know, hit that like and subscribe as I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.